everybody and welcome to another Nintendo Dad's First Look. I'm Datfest and today I'm bringing you Islanders, the console edition. So let's uh, check out and see what Nintendo has to say about this game. It says that Islanders is a relaxing, uh, minimalist strategy game about building cities on colorful islands. Uh, with a simple and intuitive building mechanics, you have the freedom to create your own cities on the rugged cliffs of the game's islands in half an hour or less. Explore these procedurally generated islands uh, from lush green grasslands to dry deserts and snowy manscapes or mountainscapes. <laughs> manscapes. Oh man, got the Nintendo Dad's ad on my mind, I guess. And expand your settlements from sprawling villages to vast cities. Uh, this game was released on August 11th when we had the, the, uh, Indie Direct. It was one of the games that was out today. So, uh, looks like I'm not seeing a developer listed on here, but the game was published by Coat Sync Software. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're going to go ahead and fire it up and see if it doesn't mention a developer uh, during the fire up. Grizzly Games. Move the camera to continue. Excellent. Now you can rotate the camera. Nice. Let's see. Let's so zoom in. Oh, that's deep pad. All right. So let's see, we want lumber pack or farming pack. Let's try the lumber pack first. And let's put, oh, hold on. I didn't mean to place that there. So can I go? What? No, I don't want that there. I want it right there. Alright, so I guess that one is just stuck there. Or I guess that's the sawmill. some brewing. Uh, let's see, a hop field. Does my hop field need to be on the... Can I not rotate the item? There we go. That is not explained in the tutorial. All right, so now we want uh, I wonder if I have to put the sawmill close to these guys. There we go. farming next. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. I wonder if I can put these fields anywhere. Nope, they've got to be up here as well. Okay, so. I guess you can put them anywhere. <laughs> So 
Is there a way to grab what you already have? Like I'm trying to... I guess I need to place more fields. on the beach. Game over. I lost, I guess. Keep trying. I... They don't explain the <laughs> objective very well. We're gonna have to uh, figure this out. Alright, let's try again. a seaweed farm. failed. <sighs> or maybe I won. I don't know. So you have to get your score. I guess you have to progress to the next score with what you put down. So let's see, I've got plenty of room right here to put fields. Base score, I guess I should start reading this stuff. <laughs> base score of three gets a bonus for each nearby hop field, statue warehouse, or seaweed farm. Loses points for each brewery in range. So I'm going to put that there. It's minus five for going there, but it gets plus seven going here. Plus 
Let's take that one gets a minus six. Seven, 13. Ah, oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted. Let's try to zoom out. them far enough away from everything else. All right, we made it to the next area. Um, let's see, let's do the city pack. Let's read these. So let's see, we get a hop, more hop fields. So let's go ahead and throw that guy there. Okay, now let's see. Base score of one gets a bonus <coughs> for each nearby city center, shaman, plateau, wall, plateau, statue, fountain, park, market, tower, temple, jewelry, mansion. So let's place the city center first. Let's place houses around it. Seven, eight, nine, and then a mansion. Okay. So let's put the shaman, which I'm assuming is like a doctor. Well, we can put more houses in here. See, a shaman gets a bonus for being by statue, temple, flower, seaweed field. It loses points for each mason, city center, or shaman in range. Fisher. Let's do that one. New Island. You collected enough points to unlock the button below. I wonder what happens if you press it. Start expedition. You will continue on a mysterious new island. There's no way to return to the current island, but you keep your score. Sure, why not? Let's go. This game is definitely different. Ah, oh, now we're at a colorful island. With lots of rocky terrain, so let's see, seaweed farm first. So let's read this seaweed seat. Base score of 10 gets a bonus for each nearby seaweed field or statue. So let's see, we can put the same by the statue. And then put two fields out here in front of it. Okay. Let's do the lumber pack. And let's 
let's see. Gets a bonus for each nearby sawmill, statue, and tree. too far away from my place. I saw a 10 or a 12. Let's do 10 there. And then do... Best score is a 7 I can get for this. <clears throat> okay. Brewing pack. So next to a seaweed farm or a statue. seaweed fields. Uh, let's see. Hopfield gets a bonus score for being nearby a statue, a brewery, resort oasis, or other hop fields. So we can get a bonus for being by the statue. Seventeen, nineteen. And then we can get to place another lumberjack. It's twenty but minus six.
some big points for this guy if I place him in the right place. right there got a big big boost okay now let's put our mill over here looks like eights eights this here put my fields down below let's try that why can't I fit it there up here. Score 15, gets 7 for being close to a fisher, 5 to a statue, 4 to a mason, 2 to a mill, 2 to a seaweed farm. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that guy there. Four points for being there, but I can't get my houses and stuff nearby it, so. Let's do the shaman pack. So I'm getting points for the flowers, five for the statue. Let's do that. Okay. More mansion. 
dimensions. We get points for putting them over here. my cursor all the way over there. Uh, let's check out the fisher. We haven't done that one yet. So let's see, you get a base score of four. It's a bonus of each nearby city center, warehouse, statue, hut, seaweed field. Oh, there we go. I have to just move my R stick, moves your thing around. I did not know that. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. So you get seven for being there. Here I get 11 plus 7. Here I get 8 plus 8, but minus 4. So, <clears throat> looks like we're going over here. And then I can build another seaweed farm. This is what happened last time. I think I pointed my seaweed farm in the wrong direction.
I think we can go to another island now and keep our points. It's pretty neat. Keep building up to a certain area and then you get to keep your points. But I think we're... We'll check out and see if we get any new stuff. So, water plateau, that's new. How does this work? Okay, let's see. Base 13. Get a bonus for each nearby sawmill, statue, water plateau, or tree. So it looks like if I build over here by this statue, There we go. Oh, I guess you can build on top of these, maybe? Let's see if I can do... Oh, you only get plus two for that, so... If I do right, how is it? Seventeen. Build around this thing, I guess. Okay. Mason this time. So let's see. Gets a base score of nine, gets a bonus for each nearby brickyard, statue, warehouse, tower, market, city center, plateau, temple wall. So I guess that has to be built on a rock. nearby them each other they get less points so let's put them all around there and then one more there Do a lumber pack. Oh, let me get another one of these. Let's put it there. We get another water plateau. Zero. Put that. Eh. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him here. We'll put this one over here. Like oh, oh, twelve, thirteen. Looks 
Looks like 13 was my best. I can find out where that was. Right there. Now a sawmill. Seven and seven. Seven and four, seven and seven. All right, so let's do that one there. Oof, we barely made it by one point. Some more water plateauage going. Maybe off to this side. I don't know, you get more points for being by these other ones. Hopfield. a slumberjack somewhere where I get some points. Yeesh. Let's do that. We barely eked out again and made it. Alright, let's do the city pack this time. Place our water plateau or we can get mega points. I was like, I thought I saw 18, but I don't get very many extra points. Over here I can do. I wonder if I can get some bonus points for being over in here. So 16 is the best. 19. Let's do that. Alright. So can mansions be built? Yep, mansions can be built right on top of all this stuff. Uh, city center. Ooh, yeah. Get some big points for being up here. Alright. So now let's see. Some odd shaped houses. That I now cannot build on top there, barely. Alright, mansion. What else do mansions get? Let's see, they get points for being by a statue. So let's hug this guy right up next to the statue. And let's go to the next thing, shaman. Bonus for being by a temple, flower, and seaweed field. I have not built a seaweed field yet. Let's go ahead and put it there. Excuse me, my nose is running. <laughs>
Some more hop fields. And then we get another house. Does that fit on there somewhere? I'm gonna do one more thing because I gotta run and do something else here. So we'll place this one last pack and then we'll call it a first look. Or actually, I might be calling it one now. So this has been Islanders, and I heard someone else say this is more of like a Tetris game than a than like a Sim City, and. I can totally agree with that because you're doing a lot of manipulating how your stuff is placed to get better points and yeah I mean you're just you're just trying to fill up these Liberty Islands with as many things as you can to get the best point bonuses that you can by placing them nearby other things so this is definitely more of a puzzle game than a than a sim city building type game but overall I, I'm enjoying it I think it's fun you uh I mean, it took me a little bit to understand what I was doing. I lost a few times there at the beginning just because I was placing stuff without realizing that you get the bonuses for moving it around. But yeah, it's, uh, it's relaxing. The, the music is really relaxing. The islands have all been pretty unique so far and just different terrain and things to work with. So yeah, I can recommend this game. It's, it's pretty good. And it looks like it's actually really cheap too. It's four ninety nine on the eShop. Um, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even wait for a sale. This is a definitely worth five bucks. So it gets my approval. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, go check it out. Go buy it. And I will see you guys for the next first look. Bye now.